is a very exciting day for us. But before I go into the program, I'd like, I'd like to welcome you all again. Also, to acknowledge my colleagues from the Progressive, the team from C3, Ms. Kim and Allen, Universe, Ms. Georgina, and everybody else here that have come out to celebrate with us the launching of the free Wi-Fi in the park here in Minnesota Park. Before I start the program, I think it's only, it's, it's really one of those things that we don't ever want to face and that's death. And in the last two to three weeks, we have actually experienced quite a few deaths in, in our community. More so in Georgetown South and Georgetown West, but in, in general, overall. And I would like to just give a moment of silence for those that have passed on. And, and we would like to also extend our sincere and heartfelt condolences to the families. So can we just have a moment of silence for those, our loved ones that have passed on recently. And I would like to thank you all for attending. First of all, I'd like to just say that I'd like you all to respect our safety protocols. I think everyone here now has their mask on and is social distancing. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about the safety of our people and we all respect that. And um, we will continue to try our endeavor best to keep our people safe. Today is a special day for David and I. During the campaign, the election campaign, we committed to the people in our constituencies in Georgetown West and Georgetown South that we would provide free Wi-Fi service in this park to support young people and families who may not have Wi-Fi at home. And I must say, we are extremely excited today to make this promise a reality. This is a service which everyone in the neighboring constituencies of Georgetown South and West can take advantage of. I know that it will be especially helpful in assisting children and their parents in doing homework assignments and also doing their school projects. Wi-Fi in today's society is such a necessity and I am proud that we have been able to make this, pro this project happen. The Wi-Fi in this park will be available Monday to Thursday from 10 in the morning until 9 at night and Friday, Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. I know that many people have been anxiously waiting for this day particularly our young people. Those boys are there that play basketball every afternoon after school. I want to thank C3 for partnering with us to provide the service. The management and staff of C3 are a wonderful part of our business community and are a very good corporate and are very good corporate citizens. Thank you. Devon, C3, Bryce, Randy, everybody that from C3 that has actually partnered with us to make this a reality. We are very, very thankful to you guys. This is but one of several initiatives to benefit our neighboring constituencies. We've also provided swing sets in the park at the National Housing game in July Street and more is to come on that including old-fashioned seesaws, a picnic table and a sandbox. Our personal goal is to provide children with a safe environment for them to play and just hang out with their families. 
The free Wi-Fi in this park will also help achieve this. To the people of Georgetown South and the people of Georgetown West, you have known David and I for many years. And you know our commitment to you and to our youth and our elderly. This commitment will not waver. Over the next three and a half years, our commitment to assist families, particularly children, will only get stronger. I thank you, and I will now call on C3 to uh, make a few remarks. Firstly, I would like to thank David Wright and Barbara Connolly for choosing a 100% locally owned company. We strive to commit the payment community and for being and partnering with like-minded people, we are achieving this and we are sharing. Thank you very much for everybody involved. Thank you. Okay, I will now call on our progressive um, chairman to say a few words. Thank you, Barbara, for the success. And good afternoon, everyone. It truly is a delight to be here and to see this project come to fruition. I know that for some time it has been a desire of Barbara and David to provide and this service to the community and people of, of um, Windsor Park. And it, it is really special and really makes me feel good this afternoon to see this come to a fruition. So I want to thank Barbara and David for their foresight and their desire and their commitment to bring this project to fruition. I also equally have to thank the Community Spirit Minded Company of C3 who have stepped forward and partnered with Barbara and David to make this a reality. It couldn't happen without you. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your commitment and willingness to, to provide this service for, for the people of this area. So, it is a great evening to be able to celebrate with Barbara and David. I just, I think we're going to throw the switch and, and turn it on at some point. But I hope that the people and the community of Windsor Park will make and take full advantage of the facility that is offered. Um, it will only do wonders to help them and make their lives a little bit more and make the internet, I should say, is more accessible and allow them to be more in contact with the rest of the world. So thank you all again. Thank you, Barbara. David, congratulations to you both. Thank you too again, C3, for your generosity. Thank you all. We're also honored today to have our very own This Cayman Universe with us. And we are happy after our dinner to come forward and just say a few words um, on behalf of I just want to say yeah, that this is a be. great opportunity for the youth well, indeed, because I have more friends, about family, and friends who have really struggled with Wi-Fi to get into school hmm? for um, homework reasons and it's great to see the kids out there. I always drive by and see the kids playing basketball as you said and I think this will be a great advantage to keep the children out but still have access to parents and our family when needed. So thank you David and Barbara and you'll see me more at this park now. <laughs> I'll ask my colleague and my friend David White to come and just say a few words as well and to thank everyone for coming. Barbara and I would like to thank you our constituents for attending this event this afternoon. As Barbara said earlier, this Wi-Fi is for all of you to benefit from and enjoy with your family. I know that our youth that hang out here to play basketball are also looking forward to this service. But I must caution you that we want you guys to not just hang out here and be on your phones now that you have free Wi-Fi, but to continue to be active in whatever sports that you play here in the park. I also want to thank the management of C3 and their team that installed the equipment. Crosby Solomon and his team at Public Works that carried out all of the initial work, i.e. Trenching, trenching Works for laying a pipe and conduit for, all, for providing the outlet inside the electrical box. My progressive colleagues, the leader of our position, Roy, Don Rebel Roy McDaggart, 
former minister Joey Hill. And then all we have colleagues here for the help out that helps us very much is Roy Tatum, Sharon Ebanks, Suli. <laughs> so we'd like to thank all of them who've helped us so much in this. And for attending and showing your support. And last but certainly not least, the media for covering the proceedings. I would like to thank Georgina and I would like to thank Miss Cayman Georgina for being here and we are truly, truly honored and proud to be your sponsor, Barbara and I. And I know that you leave on Wednesday morning and you you're going with us with you're going and you'll be in our hearts and our prayers and we'll be praying for you that you will come back hopefully with the crowd. But you have done us proud so far and and we hope and we know that you will make us prouder and thank you for attending today. And I would like to also acknowledge the former minister, the Honorable Dwayne Seymour for attending here, coming all the way from Bodden Town and attending. So thank you, John John. Thank you again, everyone. Stay safe and continue to wear your masks and practice social distancing. Have a pleasant evening. Thank you. Just to show you here now, we're putting 100, but you're actually pushing out 116 here at the moment anyway. So they're getting 100 megabytes, more than enough. Yeah. Barbara, <laughs> yes. I just want to congratulate you again this afternoon on bringing this project to Thank fruition. You. I know you've been, it's been a dream of yours to get this done. And I know it has taken you some time and effort to, to get it for everything to come together. But I'm glad that you persisted. And I'm grateful too for the, uh, for the support that C3 is providing. And agreeing to provide it uh, free of charge to, to the entire community. I know they're going to love it. And I just want to thank you all. I'm really proud of you both for your perseverance. And we appreciate your PBM support. Absolutely. Yes. We're all in this together. I am Matthew Swaby. I live in Windsor Park. And I just want to say I'm thankful and grateful for the Wi Fi in here. And a lot, it would be benefit to kids that don't have Wi Fi at home. And it would be a, it'd be a benefit to a lot of people that come to a park every day because they benefit and they they would appreciate the Wi-Fi and um, I would like to say thanks to Miss Barbara and Mr. David. Hi, my name is Emmanuel Wright. I live here in Windsor Park and um, um, I think the Wi-Fi would be beneficial to the kids who come here and wants to do the homework if they don't have no wi-fi home they could come here and do the homework and also the people that come here and play and chill and if they want to bring the video game out here they can connect to the wi-fi and have fun and all of us come together and yeah the thing and i would like to thank miss barbara and mr david for sponsoring the wi-fi out here